Hey guys, yes, I know I haven't done a video in a while, and excuse me if my eyes look squinty. Because <laughs> I am like out in the sun. Well, I opened my windows and my eyes now readjusting to the light. So, excuse me for squinty eyes. But anyway, yeah, and I'm not using my camera because memory is full and I'm not really in a mood to go and take off nothing and do nothing and yeah you know that good stuff but I think the picture here is clear enough for you guys to see um today I'm coming to show you guys my band to not as you can see yeah I slept on I think this side so some of these kind of fell down yeah as you can see I was successful in getting the roots of my hair flat with no puffy with no puffiness and my knots well the part's not perfect because I'm not a perfect cutter and this style took me okay to get these perfect knots my hair was in a twist though which it didn't really come together so it took some time to finger detangle that and then um, spray with water and put product in and whirl the knots so I started probably about I don't want to lie, probably around 8 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock yesterday, and I finished just in my hair like, whew, after 2, 3 in the morning. So yeah, squinty eyes. <laughs> anyway, um, last night I was kind of debating on deep conditioning, because today is like a holiday, emancipation day. Um... So I got day home, so I was thinking whether I should have deep condition last night or try some bad to notes. Anyway, I have been fingling, fangling with my, yes, I'll call it finger fangling, with my own products. Okay. Just now. Yes, yeah. So I've been finger fangling with this flaxseed gel cream it's kind of pinky that's from the hibiscus and stuff that I mixed it up together with and shea butter and mango butters and all those butters and oils and stuff but it um as you can see it was really successful at getting because I slicked the product into my edges and it was really good at getting the hair smooth as you can see all I use is water and this water and this product I just squirt it on here with water and then I took the product in my hand dissolved a bit between my fingers and smoothed it down 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 till I got from you see the ends and there's no at least I don't see any and I hope there's not but I don't see any. I think I would have seen it by now because it's dried. Yeah. So I don't see any part of build up. All I see is shine. Loving, loving the shinkiness. Yeah, I, I really, really am loving the shinkiness. It's really, really shiny. Yeah, shiny. <laughs> yeah, really, really shiny. Um. Do I have anything else? No. Oh. I started mm, using this deep I don't know if you guys could see it. I thought you could see it in the camera. And I don't want to show any of my laptop. It's in an old shea moisture bottle, but I'll show you the consistency. Mm -hmm. 
So this is my new deep conditioner. I really, really love this stuff. This stuff has got molasses and shea butter and cocoa butter. And everything else in it. And it smells so like cookies from the molasses. Right. So I'm going to use this on Sunday. Um, I want to finish my hair because I've been putting my hair through the works. But what I really find is that the flaxseed custard mixture it really shrinks the hair. If you after you put it in, you spray a little water on it. It it makes it hair easy to detangle. Product doesn't build up. Yeah, so these are the products I've been using. As I said, finger fangling with my own stuff and. Still using my bentonite clay. Tried black soap a couple of times. That's no brainer for me because it dries the crap out of my scalp. So and my ends. Somehow it doesn't dry along the shaft, but it dries my scalp out and it dries my ends out. Because I used it for two weeks and my hair was a hot. My hair was a hot, hot, hot mess. I sat on a chair today and this kid was like, oh my god, you have flakes and I'm like, what the hell? I don't have flakes in my hair. What? No, 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 no. Mm-mm. No soap. Me and you ain't friends no more. You offended me and love don't live here no more. So... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, black soap offended me. Doesn't matter what I mix it with, when I mix it, how I mix it, why I mix it. It's just crappy. Yeah, so this product has a slight hold. Slight, slight hold. So your twist remains bouncy because yesterday I had my twist on I'll enter the pick and everybody said, Oh my god, your hair is like so nice and bouncy. How do you keep it open? And da 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 da. But anyway, back to the soap. Yeah, my hair was a hot, flaky mess. Sorry to be bouncing back and forth, but my hair is a hot, flaky mess. And as I said, the girl pulling out flakes, I was like, mm mm. Mm mm. Black soap, I mix it, glycerin, I mix it, everything I have in my house, and you still do that to my scalp. I said, mm mm. Mm mm. So the next week, I mix up some clay with apple cider vinegar, and for some reason, right now, my hair is digging the ACV. I want to see for how long. Because my hair and ACV. Didn't really rock too well back in the days, but it's working now. And I put that in my scarf, and baby, no flakes, nada, zilch. It pulled up everything. The clean the ACB took out everything out of my hair, and my hair was back to its normal, non itchy, non flaky self. Cause I gotta sit on these people, and you, you're snowing like Snow White. And you just do have your seven dwarfs, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. Uh uh. But, yeah, I'm gonna cut this video now. Because I think I've talked long enough, updated you on what I do. And to be really honest and true, these two things this molasses deep conditioner, and this, yeah, have it in an old bottle. And this flaxy custard. These are the only three things I use. I don't use any leave-in because I've been testing this for like two weeks now. Yeah, I've been using and I have a lot of hair. This will be my yeah, this this no, this is my third week of using this, I think. Third, third, second or third week of using this, and I still have a lot because this is a six ounce bottle and normally my hair would take everything. And I was looking for a product that my hair didn't take all at one time, so I had to make every week. And this actually custard really was a bump. Really was a bump for my hair. My hair looks shiny. My, my no flyaways, no no flyaways, no um straight edges. My hair looks slamming, baby. Yes, as I said, I'm gonna cut off. I just came update you guys, which you guys know what I'm doing. If you guys know what's going on with my hair, I'll insert um let me check pics 
at the end. I think it grew a little bit. I'm not really much into the growing because what I've realized is once your hair is healthy and you're not cutting it every two, every month, two months, three months, your hair is going to grow. But you see, once you get into that cutting, like every month, you're going to take off a half. Every two months, you take off a half inch and all that kind of thing. No, you gotta find products that shrink the hair. That even if you're doing a trim, you can prolong it to about seven, six, seven months. I mean, and generally between that six, seven month period, you should only be like, well, what I do is just like take off one strand knot and anything because you gotta remember. The more years you grow to hair, means the more older your ends are. So, if you're out for that long growing business, some people don't trim at all. Some people don't take off any one shot, not the wait, 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 wait. That's not a good idea. I mean, if I see something that needs to come off while I'm washing my hair, while I'm detangling conditioning, I snip those one shot knots out. Because those buggers, those buggers, mm mm. It'll be hell later down the road. Um, yeah, so that's all I gotta say. But as of right now, I'll try to take down these and get a clip on camera of morning and evening and see how well they hold up and stuff like that. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.